is startling news, even from a rogue country used to making startling news. South Korea reporting this morning that the North launched two more ballistic missiles with a range of 80 miles. One was ground to air, the other was ground to ship. All this, while the world community and the UN barely had any time to react to yesterday's underground atomic bomb tests. What does the UN think they're doing? They're doing it so you won't have time to react to one or the other. Now your attention is off of this one and on the other. North you get it, UN? Now they're taking. Now it took your attention off of the ground test onto the fucking testing of the missile. Now they're testing nuclear explosions underground and they're testing missiles. What the fuck do you think they're gonna do with it? Korea continues to astound. An emergency session at the United Nations, brief and unanimous. What we uh, heard today was swift, clear, unequivocal condemnation and opposition to what occurred. North Korea condemned for conducting an underground nuclear test. It's the second time since 2006. The act comes less than two months after North Korean ballistic missiles entered and cleared Japanese airspace. Now more missile launches today. Okay, you have, listen lady. You have missiles entering Japanese airspace, which is defended by our military. Okay? They're testing nuclear weapons or nuclear blasts underground. Okay? Missiles, nuclear weapons. Remember what the Nazis had in mind in Germany? Well, this is what the fuck they're doing. Guess what, UN? Since... You gotta get the fuck off your ass and figure out what the fuck you're gonna do. What are you gonna do? Have another meeting? Let me explain what's gonna happen. They're gonna put a warhead on one of the missiles and launch it at somebody. Because them people are fucking nuts. You gotta march in there and fucking slap the wall in the face. The U.S. thinks that this is a grave uh, violation of uh, international law and a threat to regional and international peace and security. President Obama hammering that point home on the lawn of the White House. Uh, North Korea's actions endanger the people of Northeast Asia. They are a blatant violation of international law, and they contradict North Korea's own prior commitments. In the past, North Korea has kicked out international inspectors at its nuclear site. When Saddam Hussein did that, they invaded fucking Iraq. Okay, it's time to invade this motherfucking Korea, North Korea. Either China or the or fucking the United States. They're the only ones with military right there, ready to roll. Repeatedly violating international laws. The fear the nuclear test was a practice run, part of a nuclear weapons plan. The fear? Is there something wrong? Is there something that I missed here? They're testing rockets. They're detonating nuclear explosions on the ground. Yeah, put two and two together. They're going to put a nuclear warhead on a fucking missile and launch it to somebody. This is their plan. I think we have to really think very carefully what would be the effective way to deal with uh, kind of behavior. Let me tell you the effective way of dealing with that kind of behavior. You send in many tanks, many planes, and many soldiers. And they start blasting them to pieces. Do you understand, Japanese man? That's how you take care of that problem. The question at the UN, what action to take? Many countries pressing for increased sanctions, believing little has worked so far. Oh yeah, let's cut off their supply to TV sets and crap like that. That should do it. Make them more ignorant. Now the nuclear explosions are said to be much more powerful than those conducted by North Korea back in 2006. Russian officials say those nukes were the equivalent of the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II, enough to flatten a city. North Korea clearly undaunted by the UN Security Council condemnations, raising the stakes even higher now. Craig. Let me tell you something. North Korea doesn't give a shit about the nations and the UN and all that shit. Because no one has done jack shit to them so fucking far. Okay? No one has done jack shit to them. So unless someone goes out there, takes their fucking military foot, and shove it so far up their ass they need surgery to have it removed, they're going to keep doing 
what the fuck they're always been doing. It's not listening to anybody and endangering everybody in the region. Flavio 13 out.